You know, Dre, I'm only known as a master of two things. Do you know what they are? No. A master of accompaniment and a master of disguise. <laughs> what are you hiding from? <laughs> <laughs> more, more than we have time to talk about right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we actually are kind of hiding because we're at Sweetwater Gear Fest, and this is after hours. We're not supposed to be here, but we snuck in, and we decided to use uh, the best stage in here to showcase some of these awesome Martin SC guitars. I'm rocking the SC-10, she's rocking the SC-13. Love these fantastic guitars. We're gonna use this as a lesson in accompaniment, okay? So, what do I mean by that? Why don't we play a chord progression? Yes, Sean. Real quick, what do you want to play? Maybe some like a F, G, F, A minor, something like oh, that. Sure, why, why don't you start it off? Okay. All right. Hold on. Okay. So I got, you got a friend playing something. I want to play two, F, G. Back to F, right? A minor. I'm just playing what she's playing. It's kind of loud. Now, if we were to sing over this, we'd have to really struggle, right? Sean, I can't hear myself. I can't hear myself. I can't hear myself think. It's like nail. I know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I can see myself. Others can't see myself, though, because I'm a master of disguise. Does that sentence make sense? Mm -hmm. But now let me do something more accompaniment-based. You ready? Oh, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four. pretty at the end nice I job. thought thank you thank you very much you really are the master of, of actually not disguise a <laughs> well I saw it's here's the thing it's like was that lead or the company here, here's our company. I company like, or were you company? I was a, 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 a pure company miss knows no bound a company miss but saying a company in different the variations is very is very difficult uh-huh the master of disguise the master of disguise the master of disguising my intelligence through <laughs> wordplay <laughs> that's another part of it <laughs> You know what? Where this guitar comes, Master Disguise. How did I tune this guitar? Did you know there's a tuner built in right here? You're kidding me. Yeah, not on that one, but on this oh. one. <laughs> oh my god! How awesome, awesome is that? That's actually this cool disguise right in there. It's one of my favorite things about That's these like a guitars. Spy gadget. The cutaways are actually my favorite things about these. I agree. Guitars. I always love uh -huh. the nice cutaway, like the shape. I know. But anyways, enough of this enough disguise of this. talk. What am I doing here? <laughs> We're playing chords F, G, A minor in the key of C, actually. So we're gonna do one thing. We're gonna take an A minor chord voicing, right? Right here. Just the fifth fret on the G, B, and E string, okay? Very nice. So I'm gonna add to your F major chord by just going to the relative minor in this key, okay? We know that A is a chord in there. And basically all these notes are gonna be in the key but they might not even have to overlap with the chords, okay? Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. But if you stay in a key, you can kind of just do something repetitive, and it sounds like you're adding to the chord progression instead of playing lead over the chord progression. So there's more room to talk, maybe sing, do whatever, just vibe, kind of just like flirt with the, the hostess of the restaurant that you're playing with. Whatever, whatever you need to do, you can do because you're doing this, all right? That's genius. So let's go back and forth. I'm gonna give you three examples. Two bad and one good of her playing over that F, G, F, A. Oh, bad examples of you losing right? over me? Well, you tell me what's bad, what's good. Bad. One, two, three, four. like okay you don't want to fight the person that you're playing with, right because then it's it like becomes a, a war. sometimes it can be cool if you build up to playing the same thing as like the climax of a song or something but you don't want to always be there so again what i'm doing right now is i'm taking this three note chord voicing all right you can think of these notes in a scale you can think of these as just an a minor chord itself and i'm just playing okay 
a repetitive line over there. Okay? Sounds great. That's Pretty cool. Time. Even Drea can do it. <laughs> it sounds like a waterfall. First take. It does. It's a cascade of notes. And the fact that we're repeating through a single chord without a lot of movement eh, lends itself to kind of vibing with another chord, even if the notes don't match up. Okay, so for instance, she was playing an F major chord. Those notes are F, A, and C. I'm playing an A minor chord. Those notes are A, C, and E. So they share common notes. Usually what you're gonna find when you just do repetitive shapes over something in the same key is the shape is gonna match up with the chord somehow, right? This isn't something where I'm like, oh, well, I need to find the A and the C because F has a thing and A. It's like, no, it's just find shapes that work. A minor's position right here is a great way to do this. And then just think of five, seven, and eight on top of that. So what I'm doing is I'm doing that same shape. Then I'm going just changing one note and then changing one more note. So now I have a C major chord, then back. Okay, so the names of the chords could be like A minor, C major 7, C. But again, what I'm saying is when you're accompanying and doing it in a repetitive vibe type way, it doesn't so much matter as long as you're staying in the key. And then you can kind of feel your way through different things mm -hmm. is what I found, okay? So now what I want you to do, I want you to change some of the chords in this chord progression. Yes. In fact, just by kind of bringing some resolution, bringing it home, let's change just that F major chord to a C major chord. Okay, to make it give it more of that home major vibe. And I'm gonna do the same thing, and you'll notice that the vibe of the song kind of changes, but not in like an abrupt way. Okay? okay? So let's start off with just the F, G, F, A. One, two, three, four. See how it kind of moves together? And I think the trick of it is to keep it steady, right? If you're just doing like the same notes, then it's kind of like you're playing lead. It's kind of like you're playing solo, which is great, but an accompaniment role might not be exactly what you're looking for, mm -hmm. right? But you know it's what is a it? whole different ball game. It's totally a different ball game. It's just a different. It's not soloing over me. It's, it's adding different notes to me exactly. to make my sound feel fuller. Making you a whole again. It kind of sounds like a nature documentary, like when they show very beautiful scenes. Exactly. Well, here's the thing. It seems like the instrumental. Andre and Sean together is the most beautiful nature documentary you've ever seen. But it really sounds Truly. like it. And also with two Martin SC guitars that you can get at Sweetwater, which is where we are. Thank you, Sweetwater, for having us out here at GearFest, Gear making this happen. But uh, yeah, I just, I just think it's like a really easy thing that you can do that has a lot of the same techniques and kind of thinking as far as like where you are in a, in a solo or something like that, but bringing it back. Bye. Bringing it back. I don't know why I'm talking like this, it's getting bringing late. It bringing it back in a way that's kind of easier, a little bit more vibe, and then you can maybe take it somewhere else. All this stuff is really easily movable. Like, why don't you do the same thing, but not do it G, just go back and forth, G to A. Okay? So now G and A will be the four and five chord in the key of D. So it's like, all right, I would just find the center.
beautiful. It's it great. really does sound like a nature documentary. It, yeah, and you get, guys, it's cheating. It's basically <laughs> cheating. It's not that hard. So what did you do? You just moved that up to frets? Yep. <laughs> Again, it's all about finding the key you're in, knowing where the relative minor is. Okay. Right? Eh? Which, again, you can find out on my Patreon if you want. But, again, spoiler alert, find out the root note of where the key is. That was in the key of D, right? D is the 10th fret in your guitar. Back three frets. This is the 7th fret. That whole 7th fret is fair game. It's the relative minor, which means you put minor pentatonic on it. But I'm really just taking one shape. That's why the relative minor is so important to know. And again, it's cool if you if you know the music theory and you can you know relate the music theory to stuff. But really, at the end of the day, just find where this sounds good, and then move it around. That's actually how I learned. I always had I just I naturally I didn't know what I was doing when I first started. I was self-taught. I didn't know anything about relative minor, pentatonic scales, stuff like that. But I always just found myself in that position, which is like the spot to be in. And then just kind of started vibing. So then you just move across the E, the high E string? That's it, right? Yeah. You can do other stuff. You could maybe put your ring finger here. So it's just, just kind of experimentation at that Exactly. Point. Like, if it sounds like it sounds good, then it's probably good. Exactly. It's like, learn just a couple simple shapes, but then really try to, like, rhythmically, repetitively, find a way to fit them in over chords. You do the looper pedal, if you're awesome enough to have a lovely assistant with Andrea, who also has an amazing Martin guitar on hand. I know. That's the ideal way to practice it. With two Martins? Yeah, uh-huh. But if you just have one Martin, get a looper pedal. Yeah. And then just do it yourself. Because it's really great, it's great picking practice, just to, like kinda. Waterfall technique. I, the way I'm picking this is up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, right? Uh, so it's not really like an alternate picking thing. I guess it's more like economy because I'm going up and then down to reset my thing. Again, don't worry so much about the direction. Just, just try to get it uh, repetitive, get in the flow, and get yourself some gear at Sweetwater. The affiliate link will be below. That's right. Uh, Perfectly from Martin. If you guys have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comment section, Instagram, Twitter, the website. Show Drea some love. She's the best. Thank you. And then just keep rocking it out.